Hey guys, this is White Manga here with a new tutorial drawing a background straight from chapter 10 of Apple Black. For those of you who do not know, I am the creator of Apple Black, and yeah, that's it. Uh, if you want to read the first three, cha uh, first three chapters of uh, Apple Black, there will be links below for you to check that out. Volume 1 of Apple Black is also out, so y'all can check that out. A lot of you have um, supported me with getting the book. I'd like to thank you guys. But to uh, jump right into this tutorial, right now you see me drawing kind of like of a circular background. No, 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 no. Like a circular building, if you will. Uh, inspired by the Coliseum. But it, honestly, it's nothing like the Coliseum. It's, at least, you know, for the purpose that it serves. At least to a degree. But um, kind of circular in that sense. And what I'm drawing right now, why there's um, doing some kind of perspe uh, perspective there, because there's going to be like a pathway and a little aisle there, and that dots the vanishing point for that little aisle. Uh, nothing, n nothing too too fancy. It's kind of like the entrance to the building. So it you know, kind of lets you see how. Uh, kind of, kind of lets uh, you visualize and see how big, you know, use your eyes to figure out how big the building actually is. Um, even though that door is, or that um, entrance is huge as well. Um, so yeah, I, I used, did a little perspective just for the pathway and stuff like that. And I'm sketching like the curves freehand, but just I'm only doing that to see how you know it'll look and I usually do that for some straight lines as well because you know the perspective here is kind of you know it's not the usual it's not straightforward so I'm gonna be winging a lot of things now this this background that I'm drawing is kind of like the whole purpose of this video is to show some destruction in the background so there's gonna be a lot of boulders flying up and down and stuff like that so this drawing is gonna be very very complicated to a degree and hopefully you understand as we go on and you can see uh, what I'm drawing now those are like um, uh, think of them like street lights but they're not they're not street lights but they uh, think of them like street lights for the pathway I can't, I can't think of a name right now uh, so I'm kind of off my game and um, doing a narration for this but I'll try my best um, so I'm just playing around kind of already have an idea of how I want the building to look uh, and, uh, it's inspired by the Coliseum from a design, um, from a designing standpoint, I guess. Uh, so it's round using a French curve. It's the reason why I wanted, I wanted to sketch the line out first is just for me to see how it works. And for this part, it was really tricky because the French curves I have aren't big enough. There's still things I'm even I'm trying to figure out when creating um, backgrounds. But you know, I'll do my best. Uh, so I, you know, I have it sketched out, but I'll use rulers later on to make everything look a little more precise. And that's, you know, this is all part of the entrance. I usually draw my flag, and for those of you who've read Apple Black, it's usually almost there's a flag almost everywhere with the um, with a symbol representing the country that all this is taking place. Um, I wanted to draw a little uh, some curves. Well, first, not curves, but let me go slowly. First, I wanted to draw some straight lines to kind of create some demarcations and stuff like that. So what I decided to do when you're in cases like this is I I uh, I, pay, I find the middle of the whole thing and draw a straight line in the middle. Then I find the middle of the middles and I just keep doing that until I and, and you know everything. Even though it's not perfect perfect in distance, you know, because I'm for the most part I'm winging it. Um, even though it's not perfect in distance, it's close. And it's not supposed to be perfect in distance anyways because the building is curving. So as it reaches the edge, the distances should be, you know, smaller and they should, like, keep getting smaller. Uh, so, you know, drawing the design, you'll see, you have a better idea of what I was trying to achieve with the drawing as the drawing goes on. So sometimes just to pick up the pace, I usually just you go freehand and wing it. And he, later on, I go in with uh, the rulers to make everything uh, make everything look better. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily advise this unless you have a little more experience with uh, perspective, and especially because here perspective it, it's really tricky. It doesn't really play in perfectly here because the building is curving. It's not like a a square building, so things are really really tricky here. So the main purpose of this 
purpose of this video is just you know to show the destruction that will happen happen later. But when I'm doing drawing buildings, as you saw from the beginning, I like to start off with shapes and later go on with uh, go on with details. And what this building really is is and, and that's for like you know relating to the comic. What the building is is um, it's kind of like a like a landmark. You know, it's, it, so in, in some ways it is similar to the, you know, the Coliseum, but it's a, a landmark and it's supposed to, um, it, it was built to, well, it has to do with a comic. I don't think you, it, it will, talking about the building and what the building is would require me to talk about the comic and, eh, I don't really want to spoil things and plus that's, you know, it's not, it has nothing to do with the tutorial, so I'd rather just... I rather just skip it, but I, I I'll still tell you a little bit about it. It's the um, um, it's called the uh, Sacred Ground of the Hundred Sorcerers, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. And uh, that's not the point of this video. But um, before I draw, you know, before I go into destroying this building, I like to normally this is what I do for buildings in general. If I'm gonna blow them up or something, um, at least maybe kind of dent them or you know do some damage I like to at least draw the shape out and then go in with uh, the extra details of all the cracks and um, what, what parts exploding and stuff like that because it helps me see how the building gets destroyed in the first place how the destruction would kind of carry out so right now I'm just you know going in, going in with the pencils and um, you know, playing around, uh, fixing things, putting putting in details, designing the building, but it's all in pencil. Then I'll destroy it, and when I destroy it in pencil, then I'll go over it with ink. Pretty straightforward. Uh, some of you probably don't need to listen to me at all. You can just watch it and uh, kind of study what I'm doing. I must say before I started this drawing because because the drawing took um, a lot of space in the, at the top part of the page this was this this took this was scary to even start but you know pull through and uh, I think I liked uh, I liked the I liked how it came out you know uh, what I say was perfect perfect eh, and nah, probably not I don't think anything is but you know, we'll get better with it. And as you can see, it's, you can uh, you can see that uh, you know just by looking at what I'm drawing, you can kind of tell why it's called the Hundred Sorcerers and stuff like that. Uh, those who have read the first part of Chapter Ten in uh, Saturday AM, Saturday AM, uh, chap uh, Saturday AM issue twenty one, you probably have seen this. So it'll be cool for you to you know see how you know everything goes down. So what it is, it, it, think of like a think of like Cyclops. If Cyclops opened his opened his eyes and he was in the building, he opened his eyes and you know he just turned his head. You know, basically that's what's going on. And there's like I'm putting emphasis on the you know the power, the effect, the light, the beam, you know where it is, and you can the, the destruction it's leaving behind, showing the path that it's taking. Uh, the, the tree is part of the design and because of the light coming from the beam it will affect you know the shading of the building and the lights and the light sources and where things go where things would go uh, you see for the tree because the beams the beams aren't coming from the person's eyes they're actually coming from the person's hands so you know two hands going with like an X one hands going the other way the other hands going the other way and that's why it's forming that X and um, because lights at both ends, both ends of the, at least both ends on the, uh, of the page, but you know, they're both going opposite directions. The middle part of the tree will be the darkest because lights coming at, you know, coming from both ends of the tree. And you know, these are things that you know, I keep in mind, you know, while shading, uh, shading the tree. So now I'm putting in sound effects, because the um, the beam is good, because of the path it's leaving, parts of the buildings are cracked 
you know, cracking as it's going on. So you got the things to keep in mind are the cracks, uh, boulders and debris fall, uh, flying off, the dust that, so it's not the beams, you know, it's destroying the building. So the buildings, as they're destroying, is leaving up, um, it's leaving behind like dust from the building and so on. So what I'm focusing on is a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, bricks and cement and stuff just flying all over the place and uh, little tiny dots to just make every, kind of help the atmosphere, help the atmosphere of the drawing to show that everywhere is kind of hectic. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about in greater detail in a second when you see the final piece. Finishing up the drawing and uh, adding more cracks, putting more of the statues that are in the, uh, I forgot what they're called. I want to say niche, but the, that's, that's, I don't think that's it. But uh, the little curves, the little holes at the, you know, at the surface of the buildings and where the statues are, you know, putting more cracks. As it cracks, you have like little dots to just show because the because whatever is coming out whatever the brick is so small instead of drawing the actual brick you can just put like a dot uh and it's usually not just one it's usually like two or three and maybe two closer to one another uh compared to the other one all different sizes hopefully you guys understand what i'm talking about you know it's a little more difficult while narrating the reason why i can you know it's difficult for me to make a video and you know talk while i'm drawing <laughs> if especially you know if I'm kind of in a hurry so I usually have to just record myself and uh, narrate later uh, but not all my videos are like this so you know I just decided to do it just for the fun As you can see I have inked the uh, use my brush to fill in the fill in the sound effects where I just use exclamation marks and allow the reader to imagine what the sound would be like and just use the exclamation marks to emphasize and how loud the effect actually is and then I'm putting in speed lines slowly as you can see on the edges because you know speed lines well not speed lines focus lines rather uh, focus lines are usually the ones that are pointing to a particular spot and speed lines are the ones that you know are used to show motion I'll make a video about speed lines and motion lines I'll probably do a tutorial uh, on how I do those it'll be it'll probably be really short and simple uh, so I just you know make it its own video uh, and I'll upload that later so right now I'm using the micron to go into the drawings and you know f fill in the blanks basically I was like tracing my own stuff uh, with microns if, you, if you're new to my work uh, I'll just say it again when I'm creating manga, you, when I'm drawing backgrounds, I usually use uh, Sakura Micron ink pens because they just work better when, I, for me at least, when I'm using, uh, when I have to use a ruler. But when I'm inking thing, things like, uh, you know, things that aren't straight or very, you know, that have anything to do with architecture, I can either if it's far away I might still use the micron but usually especially when I'm drawing characters uh, I'll use the G pen and I have tutorials on G pens and I have tutorials on you know me making manga pages and stuff like that I have a whole playlist of all sorts of you know things regarding creating manga and everything if you just check my channel uh, so yeah right now I'm just going in with the microns uh, drawing in the, the tree and we're only looking we're only looking at the building from one side the, the whole building kind of goes around so there are trees all around the building but you know just one tree and this uh, looking from this you know side of the building poor building as you can tell uh, all sorts of crazy stuff is going down within the building. Uh, for those who have read the first half of chapter 10, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was released in the latest issue of Saturday AM, uh, Saturday AM issue 21.
Saturday AM just came back and uh, we're back for, you know, year two to release another 20 issues for the year. Hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys subscribe. Uh, leave links to Saturday AM in the about section below. What it is basically is uh, uh, an action, well, I won't say action, but most of the comics that are on there are action, but it's a manga slash comic anthology magazine that's bi-weekly and it's digital so y'all can check that out if you haven't seen that already uh apple black is serialized there so i will be releasing at least seven pages every two weeks within the magazine but it's not always seven pages like the late uh, for issue 21 i released nine pages and sometimes i released i released 16 pages before so yeah, uh, it's you know, if you you know want to support us because I'm you know part of the part of the team behind the magazine. If you want to support us and if you want to support me, you want to support Apple Black at all, you can check that out and subscribe. Uh, it's five dollars for a whole five dollars for a whole year. So throughout the whole year, you get twenty issues. Um, and Apple Black Volume One is out, so you can buy Apple Black separately, just Apple Black with the first nine chapters. Uh, and you can read the first three chapters free on the site. So everything's in the links below. You can check that out. Right now, back to the video. I'm just, you know, inking the usual. Inking, you know, what's on the page. It's really, that's really all there is to it. Things I keep in mind when I'm doing stuff like this is, you know, emphasis on the light, making the light source, the beam itself, kind of different from the dust that's being created from what's being destroyed and when I'm destroying the thing you know with the dust flying all around I make sure it kind of it, it, the dust is kind of um, insinuating on what direction it's going and you know it's kind of like pointing out and it's all spiky even though it's not spikes it's just showing the direction of the dust or the particles that are coming out of what's being destroyed and it, to just show show motion for that for the moment that's being captured and I just put little dots around it to just emphasize on the particles that are you know slowing down and because it's far away they're dots if we came closer it'll probably be more bricky and more like boulders and stuff like that and for the bigger ones you can clearly see their boulders but there'll be some that are you know they can't all be it, it, the whole the whole thing is getting destroyed so you know the the cement and the bricks and whatever and the debris can can't they're usually not all the same size in fact they're never the same size at least in my experience so that's really all it is you know the dust cracks in the building the dust uh, you know dust flying out dust flying out following the cracks following that path and more emphasis following the path of the let's just say laser beam I, that's not what it is uh, I don't want to talk too much about you know what the beam actually is I'll just say it's a little more think of it more like the Sun brought on earth rather than say Cyclops eyes no and by Cyclops I mean you know Cyclops from X-Men um, but think of it more like the Sun the Sun just being focused in a particular direction you know, at least rays from the Sun all concentrated and hot and just boiling in. Now think of it from that, the, think of the beam like that, but you know, that's not necessary for the, you know, that knowledge is not necessary for the, uh, for the video. The video is just, you know, me inking this and showing you guys, uh, kind of showing you guys the process of what I go through to create the pages, especially with the background pages, because uh, um, a lot of you seem to be interested in, you know, this kind of stuff. After all this, I'll erase the pencils and then I'll scan into Manga Studio and add tones and uh, if necessary add text and, and you know things of that nature. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me to make tutorials on Manga Studio to add tones and just the extra you know tips and tricks with Manga Studio and eventually I'll get to it um, but for right now this video will only show the inking part of uh, the background of you know just this whole piece uh, to show the inking part, but eventually I'll make a video about toning in Manga Studio. I'll make a video about uh, adding speed lines, where I add speed lines, why I added, uh, why and when I added, uh, and then 
I make a, a video with my uh, a video with Manga Studio tutorials on toning and coloring. At least the best I can. Uh, there are a lot of videos I want to do. There are a lot of collaborations that are on, there that are in place. There is an um, I don't know when this video is actually going to be uploaded, so I don't I don't want to say there is an announcement in case I've already made the video about the announcement concerning uh, Apple Black Volume One and the people who bought it early. But you know, in case I've already made it, you know, whatever. It is what it is. So I'm using my French curves to, you know, just make make the lines. Even though I use the pencil and it was freehand, I use the French curves to just make everything look a little more precise. Um, that's really much. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, going in with the shades, making sure the lights, kind of the, the, the making sure the shading kind of makes sense according to the the beams and the light and all the you know the light source and stuff like that and uh, yeah another thing I'll say is you know practice makes perfect you know all this stuff is not it's not just going to you can't just learn it with one video you kinda have to go out and test yourself and actually practice so you know, that's all I have to say for this video I hope you guys like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and more other videos that are not like this that I hope are also entertaining. And I hope you guys enjoy. Like, like, favorite, leave comments. Um, tell me what you think about Apple Black. Tell me anything. Uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Y Manga. And I'm out.